What's up guys, it's Matters and we're actually going to be covering some DLC 2 leaked information for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies and it's going to be really insane, we're going to go through a couple different stuff here. Now we're not so sure of the actual map name and stuff like that, but we do have some evidence about DLC 2 and the island location and a lot of cool stuff like that. So please leave a like, this is a crazy video, 100 likes is our like goal as always and we can hit it guys, we're insane so let's get started here. Um, DLC 2. Now, this is actually coming from the Glitching Queen source, where her source actually predicted or found within the code, however the source actually found it, insider information um, through Treyarch or whatever, um, the source actually got um, it correct where the Panzer was actually, well, no, she predicted the Panzer, and then the source also predicted that the Panzer will be different, and that it shoots these electrical grenades, and the source predicted a bunch of other random stuff about the map, a lot of key elements of the map, um, so obviously the source has had history in predicting this stuff correct and actually finding it in the code and looking around and finding cold hard evidence like the source says um, that this is going to happen for the next map and they actually found some stuff for DLC 2. So within the update for DLC 2, something weird was added at the end of the map. Now if you guys don't know, like the end when you end a game or when you die, um, the scoreboard pops up and then you have like this outro music. Um, and whether or not I have it on screen, I think you guys know when you die you have this outro music and then it just goes to the main screen. You have the forest cutscene, goes to the main screen, that's it. Now in the update they actually found um, an outro song for a different map and it related towards an island as they say um, and we're not so sure exactly what that um, song actually was um, but they're saying it was related towards an island and even if it wasn't it's a new outro song on the map that doesn't relate to any of the other maps so that's really interesting as well and then they also found some stuff that it obviously will directly correlate with Pompeii and the island map based on stuff they've found um, again we'll have to see what happens here but they've been known to be correct, they've been known to actually get this stuff right, and they've been known when they released their information and they gave it to the Glitching Queen, um, it actually came to life when we played Black Ops 3 Zombies for DLC 1 and DLC 2, it should be the same sort of thing. Now, this is obviously not really such a surprise to a lot of people because of the fact that um, we've seen the Pompeii, um, I guess the island of Pompeii floating around all over the internet with Richthofen's notes, with different ciphers, a lot of insane stuff here, um, even Takio quotes and stuff. There's a lot of crazy stuff correlating towards Pompeii. Now, we have stuff within the update, different outro songs, different coding that relates towards this new island map. I think it's almost guaranteed that we're going to see this map for DLC 2. And I feel like we predicted the castle map, but I feel like th this map we have so much evidence for. We have so much just insight on what we're going to see. And it would be a real, real shocker if we actually don't get this island map for DLC 2. Obviously, I guess it would be for DLC 3, but the fact that they're adding this stuff within the update means that they're sort of preparing for DLC 2, getting everything ready. Um, and, you know, we'll have to see what happens here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye.